The manhunt for a dangerous escaped convict intensifying tonight with agencies and people across West Tennessee on high alert. Thanks for joining us. I'm Richard Ransom. Katina has the night off. The reward for information leading to the capture of Curtis Ray Watson, now more than $52,000. This new photo shows what Watson was wearing before he took off yesterday from the West Tennessee State Penitentiary. During the escape, they believe he killed longtime corrections worker, 64-year-old Deborah Johnson. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live near that prison in Henning, about 60 miles north of Memphis. Brad? Richard, Curtis Ray Watson is described as extremely dangerous, and this is one of several checkpoints in the miles-long radius around this prison, checking everyone going in and out of this area. Today, authorities urge those living here and around Tennessee to check their properties to make sure everything is in place. The fact that he's so dangerous is what's scary. Prison escapee Curtis Ray Watson is front and center on the minds of those who work and live around the West Tennessee State Penitentiary. One day after authorities said he killed prison administrator Deborah Johnson. That's horrific. That, this, that wasn't necessary. He could be anywhere. This afternoon, Tennessee law enforcement leaders said they've received more than 75 tips about possible Watson sightings in Tennessee and other states. But those tips haven't yet given investigators their needed breakthrough. There have been no credible sightings at this time. Uh, we have checked all uh, potential leads. Authorities are especially focusing on a two mile area between where they found Watson's prison work detail tractor and the home where Johnson was killed. Investigators urged those who live near the prison to be extra alert and offered this additional advice. We're asking members of the public to be aware of anything that looks out of the ordinary such as missing items. We are not going to abandon you. We are not going to leave you until we know that your community is safe. Now, this afternoon, authorities in this area also released several pictures, putting them up in stores and businesses around the Lauderdale County area. Today, also, we talked to workers who knew Deborah Johnson. They described her as a woman with extreme professionalism and liked by both inmates and co-workers alike. Reporting live in Henning, Tennessee, Brad Broders, Local 24 News. All right, thank you, Brad. Now, TBI issued a blue alert in this case, which is very rare. It's used only when a violent criminal is on the run after killing or seriously injuring a law enforcement officer. Investigators say Curtis Ray Watson may have changed his appearance. He is 5 foot 11 inches tall, 140 pounds, and has brown eyes. He may have shaved off his beard, perhaps similar to how he used to appear in these earlier mugshots. But it would be harder to get rid of his tattoos. He has plenty of them. Uh, they're on his arms, legs, chest, and back. If you spot Watson, do not approach him because he is considered extremely dangerous. Instead, call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Get breaking information on this story and others as it happens by downloading the local Memphis mobile app. Find local Memphis in your Apple Store or Google Play.